Well, we're getting there. It doesn't quite look ready to fly, but it's certainly starting to resemble an airship. And hey gang, this is Stormy. Welcome back to Stormy Plays Isolation. This is Vex's newest super hostile map. Let's see if I can get through my intro without getting tongue-tied. I don't know why I always do. You know, in real life I can usually talk decently at least. Um, so just to let you guys know, kind of catch you guys up, um, I have been really busy uh, with real life stuff, with my mother-in-law's surgery and, and just, you know, getting close to Christmas and stuff. So what I wanted to do this episode, I haven't done any off-camera work. I emptied out my pockets. That's it. I haven't looted and I haven't built a minecart track. What I wanted to do is uh, I wanted to read Tali's journals here. Um, which ones did I read you guys? It's been so long. Did I read you guys this one? So getting used to the cold, Valgard is quite temperate. Also explains. I think I read that one. <laughs> um, no problem with doing the beta test and then the LP like two days apart. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm going to, this episode, I'm going to try to catch up with uh, Tali's journals to where we are. Um, and, uh, then I'm going to go work on looting, um, Zombie Town, and I figured, you know what, just, you guys can, if you want to fast forward this episode or do whatever, feel free. Um, I just wanted to get something up, and I, you know, I figured I'd at least record while I do it so that I can multitask. <laughs> um, so anyway. Oh, wow, new favorite spot. While the glacial rift was pretty, there wasn't much of interest there. Uh, if I've already read this, you can just skip. However, Boreal Valley has the ruins of a huge bridge that I may have sort of wrestled with a bit. Come on, you try looking down. So I got tired of freezing my butt off exploring the area and decided to build a cute little outpost on a cliff. The view is super fab. Some people have better vision than others. Mine is the best. I can see 32, um, units? Her <laughs> her. But I know not everyone can see that far away, so I made a cute little pink flag so the outpost sticks out better. Anyway. Okay, fine. I'm scared of heights. Guilty. You got me. Johnny, show them what they won. Nothing. You win nothing. I tried to get some wood and bridge out and fix the gap in the massive stone bridge, but I made it a little ways out, looked down, and totally lost my nerve. So instead, I eventually spent like ten friggin' years and dug, a dug out a big dumb coward staircase in the cliffs. Now I can either... Now I can go either way and explore more... Although I need to be mindful of how I spend my time. I only have so much and I need to fully analyze the Magitech reactor. That is sort of like my main objective here. Duh. <clears throat> but seriously, it feels like it takes all day to make the hike. And all the while I have to be careful about how cold it gets. The outpost was a very good idea. I will try to remember to always keep it stocked with spare supplies. Thank you, Tally. We love you. I suppose I don't really need to explore. Technically, I could just go to the thawing dead and kill like 50 zombies. And that meets the requirement for the test. But I, know, I would know that I cheesed it, and this is literally an adventuring test. Come on. So we'll go check out Tally's staircase today. <clears throat> uh, day 8. I really miss my friends. I think the solitude is starting to get to me finally. I spent most of the day in bed. I cried a bit. The pressure is getting to me too. I have to do well, otherwise I'll fail out of my mastery course. While I was in bed, I heard howling. I thought seeing some wolves might cheer me up, so I went out to Boreal Valley, but didn't see any. If they are out there, they must be stealthy little guys. I saw the bridge again and my stubby wooden addition. While I was there, I figured I would try to, and bridge out more, but I added a few more blocks to my wood bridge, and I just, I can't do it. I can't get over that vertigo looking down. And you have to look down to place the blocks! Arrgh! Goodness. I, I, you know, for me, I'm not generally scared of heights, but I think that might get to me too, Tally. Okay. Well, I'm not sad anymore. That's the good news. Now my issue is getting my heart to stop racing, but that was such a rush. I had made a lot of progress with the Magitech equipment, so I spent the day exploring the modern ruins. Why do fast zombies have to exist? Like, really, why? Why can't they all just be slow and dumb? As expected, because humans have been gone for so long, monsters have infested the ruins. First place I went to was Miner's Cavern. The, this place is filled with generic corporate worker housing and seems to be the hub of the miners' settlement, and it is infested with zombies, many of which are using weapons left behind in the ruins, which makes dealing with them trickier. Teenage Tolly would probably have made some edgy comment about zombies and corporations, but thankfully I have at least grown out of such tripe. What I haven't grown out of is being scared out of my mind from fast zombies chasing me. 
Thankfully, I'm a scout, so my class helmet gives me a lot of run speed, so I can kite these idiots around as long as I don't make a mistake. Otherwise, I would probably have to bridge around like a coward and avoid the hordes. It did feel good to cut loose and peg each zombie with one of my enchanted wither arrows and watch them all thrash around briefly be falling over, before falling over dead. Dead? Falling over destroyed? It doesn't have the same ring. Anyway, I ran around the area like a mad woman and spotted a large monster nest through the window of the town hall building. You can tell an area has a nest because of the tendrils of soul sand that form through the area. For whatever reason, monsters seem to bring with them certain types of blocks more than others. Soul sand and mossy cobblestones being the most frequent. Only endermen are actually ever seen carrying blocks, so maybe they are involved? Hmm. I really wanted to loot the area near the nest, but I'm not sure if I have the time to systematically make the area safe enough to look around properly. I don't want to risk my grade by getting distracted too much, so I will just peek in each area. Hopefully that will satisfy my curiosity. Oh, I think I saw a fake tropical island the miner set up. It made me feel better. I know logically, like, of course it's tough coping here, like, duh. But seeing a physical thing set up by others to help cope helped me, you know? Yeah, I do. Um, all right, so I think, <clears throat> to give my still croaky throat a break, We'll go now to uh, Zombie Town and take a look at the loot and make sure it is actually safe. So I'm going to grab a drink while I run down this tunnel. Sooner or later, my throat will stop being so pissy and I'll be able to talk properly. Also, I think my Discord sounds are muted. They should be. I apologize again for the Discord sounds at one day. Uh, that was my D&D &D group. And sometimes things are just hopping and we have a lot to say and, you know... Lately, that has been kind of what's been going on. Things have been hopping. So, yeah. My DM knows how to, how to spin a hell of a tail. Let me just say that. It is snowing to beat the band out here. Let's get through here. And uh, also, I'm going to brew a night vision potion. Ugh, damn it. And uh, show you guys the underwater area when we are ready for the diamonds that are down there. We're not quite there yet, but I just wanted to let you guys know. The only problem with farming crops is they grow incredibly slowly. Um, like, incredibly slowly. I, I wonder if maybe Vex turned down the tick speed. Because, uh, you know, like maybe to sim... Yeah, down there. I'll use a night vision potion. Because uh, there are diamonds in that thar water. Also iron. Also coal. Also gold. Anyway, uh... Uh, I mean, I wonder if he turned down the tick speed, the growing speed, so to kind of simulate, you know, things would grow faster in a cold climate. I don't know. But, man, they grow slow. <laughs> it's, it, it can't just be my imagination. So, um, you know, like, I'll, I'll plant something in AFK forever and come back and it's still not grown. And it's like, what? So we need to loot this place. Um. Started to say, how did that block get there? Gee, Stormy, I don't know. How did that block get there? So we're just going to take... I'm not too worried about bowls. I don't have a lot to put in them. I'm sure I'll take a dead bow. Ah! Piffle. <laughs> Forgot a friggin' axe. Damn it. Well, if I get a little bit more cobble, I can make one. Oh, yeah. Also, I put, like, one iron ingot on our pick right here to uh, repair it somewhat. Oh, good. Redstone. I was just thinking about that um, for brewing. Um, I don't need any of that. Okay, so this place is... Or this part is looted. Let's go upstairs. Ah! Okay, this is the top... Whoa! Jump boost, hello! This is the top floor. Is there only one floor to this building? It feels like so much bigger when you've got zombies everywhere. Oh no, there is a... Uh, Eleven Miner's Cavern, right. Um... What's down here? Anything? Oh, room I guess I didn't explore. And I know there's these lights I could flick on and I always forget. Oh, bones! I need these. Also, I want the zombie flesh. I need the bones. I have an idea. I need the bones. Oh, I'll... Oh, whatever. I'll just try to be systematic so I don't lose track of where we were. It is nice. I guess I didn't come in here because this is still completely dark. Um, oh, mending! I knew there was a mending book in here somewhere. 
uh, what was I saying? It is nice that, you know, if I forgot to light up an area, I don't come back and it's just, you know, loaded with spawns. That is nice. So. Oh, hey. Ooh, chain boots. I'll take them. I don't know if we'll actually need them, but I'll happily take them. It's metal armor. That I can't make myself. Gotta, whoops. I'm mostly lighting it up out of habit now. Take some water bottles and a bone. Ooh, power two bow. Nice. Thank you, bitches. Have I been in here? I don't know. I don't remember. It was like a week ago or something. Um, but my mother-in-law is doing great since her surgery. She's recovering much faster from this one than she did the last one. And, uh, you know, we're happy about that. So good for her. She's needed a lot less um, just general assistance uh, from me, which, you know, of course, I certainly don't mind helping her. But I am glad she's, you know, doing better just because I'm glad she's doing better. Uh, maybe this is a chest I looted because there's nothing in here. <clears throat> and I don't recall a whole lot of empty chests. I have to check the furnace. Furnace. Furnace? <laughs> The furnaces. Sometimes there's stuff in them. Amlop loves to hide stuff in furnaces in his maps. Oh, yay, wheat. I'm not going to take any more water bottles right now. Uh, they're filling up my inventory, and I'm not going to need that many. Um, I have a general idea of the potions I'm going to want. This might be the first Vex map I've ever played where fire resists. This is really not something I care about. Um, strength would be nice, speed would be nice, and night vision would be good, so, yep. Blast protection, not really relevant, but I'll take it. Unbreaking, I will happily take. Thank you, Vex. I need to get the stuff to make a stupid axe, or find the axe that I'm pretty sure I haven't taken yet. So yeah, does anybody have any cool plans for Christmas? I, uh, we're not traveling this year. Um, ooh, a gapple. I'll take that. It's weird to be taking the flesh, uh, the rotten flesh, but I'm going to need that. For the, uh, small army I hope to recruit, uh, they like to eat flesh and bones. <clears throat> anyway... Uh, yeah, we're not really traveling this year. My, my sister-in-law is pregnant, my brother's wife, and, uh, she's due, she's due basically any time around Christmas. So, um, I think this is the chicken farm. Yeah, this is the chicken farm. I mean, I'll take the eggs. I don't, okay, that was a creepy ass cave sound. Wow. Um, yeah, they, yeah, she's, there's a, my niece is due to be born anytime around Christmas, so they're not going to be traveling, and my mother-in-law can't travel because of her knee, really, so, uh, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna stick close to home this year, um, have my mother-in-law, mother and father-in-law over, uh, which is fine, um, I love traveling on Thanksgiving, but traveling on Christmas is kind of meant to me. Just because it's like, you know, your kids open presents and then it's like, okay, guys, time to go, you know. Uh, you don't really get a chance to enjoy, you know, the things usually. So, uh, whoops. I'm, you know, I'm happy not to travel on Christmas and, whoops, instead to just spend it with my family. That's fine with me. Most certainly. I think this is all the papers. Whoops, all the papers, but I'm going to look. Oh, no, there is a, that's another blast protection book. I don't need all these. I don't even think... Well, I don't need... Ah, there's what I was looking for. What are you? Mending. I'll take that. Sweet. Okay, what I'm going to do is, rather than breaking all the chests, I'm just trying to make a mental note of where we've been. Is there an upstairs to this? I'm kind of leery about flicking switches. I expect one of them to blow up on me. So far, so good. I guess not. That's a pretty high ceiling. These buildings are a little bit confusing just because there's like so many. Colony, center, and administration. 
There is an upstairs. Oh, there's, I was like, where's the stairs? What does it say? Miner's Market. Uh, we're going to need our pockets emptied. So I'm going to go out this away, right out here to the start. Or, well, probably to our, yeah, I'll just come out here to the start. Put them right here. Um, <clears throat> I am going to build minecart track from here, or not from here, from the, uh, from the other side over, I'm not going to build it all the way across. And you guys will see what I mean. Um, but probably, <clears throat> probably I'm not going to come back here a whole lot once we move on to the next area. I mean, I might, you know, there's, there's resources here, but, uh, eh, probably not too much. So, <clears throat> goodness. And I could break all these hay bales for wheat too, if I need to, so. Food is really not a problem here. Oh, and here's a bunch of wheat. As long as you're willing to, you know, eat a lot of bread. Um, and I need the zombie flesh. It's really unusual. Jump boost. There's speed. Regen is nice. Oh, there's a golden carrot right there I can use. Glycerine melons are health potions. Um, sure, I'll take them. They're free. Why not? I don't need the cauldrons. What's on the... Fire resist and regen. I don't think I need fire resist ever. Um, spoiler alert. Although, whoop. Hello, soul sand. I guess, by the way, that we did manage to, uh, 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 beat the area because it's really quiet in here. <clears throat> so that's nice. Um, happily take the leather armor. Oh, here, let's use one of these axes. I'll take the shield, arrows, iron swords. I don't need all of them, I don't think. Um, yeah, I might. I don't think I'll need another shield. Uh, whoops. Blocks. I will definitely need blocks, so I'm glad to see these. Um, let's take that. Run back this way. And if you guys are tempted to skip this, like I said, that's fine. I don't blame you. I just really wanted to get something recorded for you guys. So, uh, yeah. You get to watch me loot. It's thrilling, isn't it? I'm trying to think of interesting stuff to talk about. So my phone broke. <laughs> and I'm waiting for the replacement to be delivered any minute. If I have to suddenly jump up, it's because FedEx is here. Uh, it... Fortunately, was warrantied. Um, whoops, my cat may or may not had, have had something to do with it by uh, knocking it out of my hands onto a concrete floor. Uh, the screen didn't break. Screen protector worked really well, but uh, it did stop functioning. So I've been without a cell phone for, I think that happened on Saturday night. So I've been without a cell phone for like three days. It's... Tuesday um yeah that was a pit I was just like okay so let me get this straight I have law I have had my headphones die my mouse has died um my uh let's see headphone mouse controller had to be replaced uh what it was doing was it would keep disconnecting like if I would move it at all it would disconnect and that was really irritating. So I had to replace that. Uh, uh, headset, mouse, controller, phone. Um, uh, there was something else. I don't remember now. But it's just like ever since like August. Because I was out of town for most for part of July and part of August. And it's like ever since I got back, it's like fate is pissed at me or something. Whoops, no. Because ever I, it's oh yeah, I swear it's driving me nuts, pets. It's like, it's like I'm hexed or something. Just minor annoyances. So I can't, like, I complain about them, and and there's so much worse things it could be. But like, did I go up in the roof up there? I think I did. Let me go make sure I did. Whoops, because I don't remember. Uh. You know, things could be horrible and so much worse, uh, but it's so maddening. It's just like, okay, seriously, where's, 
Somewhere around here is the thing I'm looking for for the thing that I probably already got. Speaking of maddening. Um, this is cute, though. I really like this little, this little uh, beach area right there. That's really cute. Whoops, hop. Is it here? Oh, it's a secret to everybody. I didn't get this. Okay. Hey, <laughs> I thought there was a lad. He might have changed it. Unless. Oh, there's the ladder. Where does this come out? Sorry, guys. You can't see. Oh, I was so close. Anyway, uh, sweet. And a diamond sword. Did I show you guys that? I'm sorry. I don't remember. It's really been a hectic uh, week. I don't even know if it's been a week since I recorded. It hasn't been that long. It's just been that busy. Um... I'm always paranoid I'm missing something, especially when the walls are kind of jagged like this, but <clears throat> there's really no light cues or anything out here, so, you know, I mean that, oops, that tropical beach place would be your cue to find that hidden ladder. You know, you just look around there and it's there, so. Oh, and um, <clears throat> somebody left me a comment <clears throat> on possibly my first episode, one of my, or no, one of my recent episodes anyway. Somebody left a comment uh, saying that, uh, you know, they were concerned that I was spoiling uh, the map. Um, and I, uh, I just kind of wanted to say that an LP kind of inevitably spoils the uh, map or game. It's dark up there. Have I not been up there? Or whatever that you're LPing. Like, it's, it's going to happen. Um... If you're worried about it, that's fish. I'm trying to find the dark windows that I saw. That's going to be a fish. There's dark windows. That's not a fish. Uh, if you're worried about it, um, ooh, more potatoes. Thank you. You are, uh, the map will be out for the general public um, uh, sometime in January or February is the plan. Um, so, you know, you can, you can, uh, wait to watch this until then if you want, you know, until you can play the map for yourself or whatever. Uh, you're more than welcome to, you know, hold off watching this until then. Um, that's fine. Uh, there's, you know, it's kind of hard for me to, and I was actually worried about that. Um, you know, about playing the map you know, when it's not available to the general public. And what I was told was that enough people are going to be streaming it and recording it and doing whatever, which they have been, uh, particularly streaming it. Some of the Patreons have been. Um, that he just wasn't even worried about it and that I should go ahead and do an LP of it. So that's kind of where that stands. Because um, I did think about that. I was like, you know, not everybody can play this. Is it is it wrong of me? Should I wait until the general public release to play it? And he said no. So, I need a new pick. I don't want to break this. It has fortune on it. Those are all monster eggs. Or no, these are the real ones. Never mind. It's the other ones that are monster eggs. One of these chests has monster eggs in it. Lots of cobble. I will happily take all the cobble. We won't need resources like for the rest of the map. These are the monster eggs. Um, except for like iron but we're pretty well set for resources there's some iron and a site i'm gonna need a lot of blocks for making the um damn it i don't have an empty for making the minecart track i'm gonna need a lot of blocks for that so i'm happy to see all these blocks so yeah that's good news <clears throat> Um, let's see. What else did I want to mention? Sometimes I answer comments here. Sometimes I answer them, you know, in the, on the comment. I'll reply. Um, just depends if I think of it while I'm recording or if it's a comment that has a specific concern like that one. A lot of times I'll answer it here. 
um, it's be, you know just to make it easier. So uh, as far as what's been going on in our D and D campaign, I mentioned that one time in that one video that I'd had a my character had had a run of bad luck. My character, man, I'm telling you. My character's having just shit happen, and, and I'm having... Anyway, uh, uh, you know, things are... We met a djinn, D-J-I-N-N djinn, um, that was fortunately very good-natured. He's very bored and happy to have the, uh, happy to have the company. So, at least there's that. He didn't try to you know, kill us. Um, so that was cool. Uh, so we did that. No, stop. Oh, right. There's coal up there. I just kind of want the coal blocks, honestly. I'm not going to mess with all the charcoal. There's so much coal in this map, you guys. Um, <clears throat> let's see. What else? Metagen. Still don't have my bag of holding back. Probably I'm not getting it back. I'm just going to go ahead and say. Um, since the person who stole it seems to be a little bit bigger and badder than myself or my uh, teammates are. But uh, there's a new, there's a new D&D, it's not a module, it's like a new, um, like, book or whatever. Uh, it's called Strongholds and something. I could look it up, but it's Strongholds, Strongholds and Followers, maybe? But it, it's, uh, it's an official D&D book that kind of outlines kind of how to work strongholds and stuff into your campaign. Um, and my DM was absolutely tickled pink and uh, uh, worked it into the campaign that uh, we're going to be having a stronghold built, which is awesome. Actually, it's going to be a castle, which is going to be a series of strongholds, basically. Um, I'm excited. Like, we get different... Like, if you're a wizard and you have a wizard's tower, that wizard's tower will give you benefits. Um, you know, maybe a, a point to your intelligence, or I don't remember what the benefits all are. Uh, you know, so you, you build, basically, each person gets a stronghold built that will accentuate their skills. Um, which is really, really cool, and I really do love that. It's a nice way to, because we don't have feats in this campaign, so it'll be a really nice way to kind of, I don't think I need any more coal. <laughs> it'll be a really nice way to kind of, you know, do something with our characters that isn't just leveling up or whatever. Uh, the only kind of hiccup I'm having is, what do I, I'm a bard, but I'm not a sing-song type of bard. I'm swing swords and shoot things type of bard. So I don't know what what I would build, honestly, to, uh, you know, get myself more whatever. So I'm going to drop all this stuff off and we're going to take a little walk so that I can give you guys something interesting for the episode besides just the pleasure of my company. Oh, I can't do that in this version. In the next version, you can actually put chests next to each other. <clears throat> Which is amazing. Oh, you know what? Isn't there an anvil somewhere? I can repair this fortune pick. Um, so yeah, I haven't decided what uh, what my character is going to... What her stronghold is going to be focused on. But uh, I'll look over the, the book about the rule book on it. And, you know, figure something out. <clears throat> so that's pretty cool. Um, we're excited about that. So that's a thing that's happening. Might as well take a free speed buff while we're, oops, in the neighborhood. Uh, let's see, what else? Hmm. I had stuff to talk about, but everything I had to talk about has been quicker than I expected it to be. So it's like, erm, um, erm, um, But I had a minute. I, I have, uh, my daughter's band concert is this evening. So we're going to be going to that. Um, so my evening's going to be pretty tied up because I have to run her over there and then come home and get ready. And then I'm going to, you know, my son and I will go. My husband will stop in, but he's working tonight. He's on call tonight. So, um, and I'll record it for my mother-in-law. And, uh, yeah, so that'll be cool. I'm looking forward to it. Um, she plays, she plays oboe, baritone, and, uh, uh, vibraphone. That's it. 
percussion instrument. I had to remember what specifically it was called. It's a vibraphone. So, you know, she's she's pretty musically inclined. I was. I was really good at the saxophone uh, when I was in high school. Um, so, yeah. And both my kids, I was like, you will play an instrument. Like, this is not negotiable. Music is powerful. It's good for growing brains. It's, you know... It's good for so many things. Um, so I told my kids, you know, if they, they had to do band, and if they did not like it, if they really, really had like a, like a personality conflict with band, they, you know, had to explain it to me, and we would try to find, you know, a different class they could take or whatever. Um, but both kids, you know, were like, yeah, sure, of course. So, so there's... The snow. Also, there's this half of the bridge. I'm trying to find, and I kind of pointed it out the last time, but I'm trying to find. Oh, there it is. I can see it. I don't know if you guys can see it with the snow. Oh, and when she was talking about 32 blocks being able to see, she was talking about her render distance. So I don't know what, I don't know what 32 blocks is in terms of like, uh, render distance. Is it all the way up here? Oh, yeah, it is. Does that even, like, function for me? Oh, a little bit of lag. A little bit of lag. I'll turn it back down. I like when, like, we're right here. Uh, we can actually see things. <laughs> That's kind of nice. Um, I'm going to turn it back down because, yeah. Although it did better than I thought it would. I think I can run 32 chunks uh, on, like, a vanilla world when I'm not recording and there's not a bunch of particles in the air. It does pretty good. I have an i7 computer. Um, Tally's big dumb. I was too scared to bridge stairs. I love Tally. I really do. She's just adorable. So yeah, my, my, daughter, my daughter has her band concert tonight. So that'll be fun. They're pretty good. <laughs> boing, 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 boing. Tally, you could have put actual, you know, stairs down. Then here's her, like, marker, I guess. Um... And then there's the bridge above us. But, uh, yeah, you follow this all the way up here. There's a little arrow with a sign here. So we hop up here. Yeah, this would take a while to dig out. I, uh, I'm not surprised that Tally was, you know, irritated with it by the time she finished. Um, so here's the blocks again that fell out of the bridge right there. Nice touch, Vex. <clears throat> OMG, that took forever to dig out. Why didn't I just bridge? Because you're scared of heights, sweetie. Let's go down here and see if we can see. Watch out for holes. See if we can see where maybe she started to bridge. And you can go up these towers. Um, when I was in here before, there was like nothing in here. There, It's a spiral staircase. I don't think I've shown one uh, that goes... They're really, really long, and as far as I know, there's nothing in these towers except stairs. I, I could be wrong, like I said. I mean, you know, there wasn't when I looked before, but that doesn't mean there isn't now. So I haven't looked on this particular version of the map, but yeah, this is where we come out. Got a pretty interesting view here. This, the tracks are way down there. So maybe you shouldn't skip this episode because, you know, we're actually finding new things. But I just want to go see if we can see maybe where Tali started to bridge out or something. No, just the minecart tracks end. Funny story. Uh, the people I was beta testing this with, um, we were on minecarts. And I was like, I think if you do it just right, you can go off uh, in a minecart and not die. I managed to jump out at the perfect time, did not die. They both splattered right in front of me. So <laughs> they were like... They were like, you said, and I was like, well, I mean, I said to do it just right, and I guess you did it just wrong. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, guys. I'll stand here and watch your stuff for you while you get back. <laughs> um, Boreal Valley, Windchill Tundra. Let's go check out the Windchill Tundra before the end of the episode. Ah, pecker. I need a damn minecart. Because this is a long walk. I wasn't actually planning on going all the way out here is the thing. I just wasn't. 
But maybe we won't go all the way up, because look at that. Look at that. Uh, yeah, look at that. I don't want to hop all the way up there, okay? But uh, this is this is the wind chill tundra. I like the patterns of snow and stuff um, on here. It's a really cool place. Uh, you guys might be able to see a few little bits and bobs here and there. It's pretty exciting, right? Uh, so yeah, that's the next place we're going to go. Um, and the minecart track that I'm going to lay is going to be, I'm probably just going to build steps up. Although I guess, I mean, I wasn't going to link it, but I was going to build steps near where my other steps are. So maybe it would be as easy, just as easy to link the, the two sides of the bridge as to build a staircase. Cause I don't want to have to hop up Tally's adorable, but very long staircase anymore. And those little buildings have spiral staircases, which I have a really bad habit of falling off. So, yeah, maybe I should, but that's a long way over. I mean, look at that. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Either I will link these up or, whoa, hello hole. Uh, that is a long way to build a staircase, though. Just saying. I mean, there's those. Those take a bit to climb. I could bridge across. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do, pets. Uh, some of you may know how much I hate laying my car track. Maybe I can bat my eyes at my husband and have him do it for me. He's done it for me in past maps. Maybe he'll do it for me in this one. What do you think? I'll ask him really nice. Honey, would you please, please put my mine car tracks down? He's a good sport. He'll probably help me out. <clears throat> But I, this is, this is just, this gets me dizzy going, going down these spiral stairs. Um, oh shit, I can't light it up for you guys anymore. Sorry, it's going to be dark. But you're not missing anything, it's just spiral stairs. I feel like I'm going too far down. I am, this goes all the way down into the ice. Whoa, god, that scared me. We're in ice now, pets. Uh, sorry, it's dark. I'm out of, a. Uh, things here torches that would be the things i knew i went down too far and i did this the last time i played the map and completely forgot ah i broke the ice too quick you know what let's get back to the tower and i'll just get back up where it's light and uh find my way out from there uh i don't want to ah i don't want to leave you guys in darkness too long there we go. Now you can see a little bit. You didn't miss anything, I promise. Just uh, busting through ice. And then glitching a block because I broke the ice so quickly. There we go. We're out. Yeah, we were... This It's like buried in ice, so we were down in that ice down there. <clears throat> um, so, yeah. But, uh, but yeah, so I guess, now that I'm not in the dark, ugh, I guess this is probably a good place to end the episode. Ugh. Um, I'm getting kind of hungry. I'm going to probably go have a salad, um, for, for my lunch. I ate a lot of salad. Uh, I'm a naturally skinny person, but I eat like a naturally skinny person. So, I mean, you know, let's see. I like salads and like chicken and, and lighter stuff like that. I don't eat. I don't really eat sweets and stuff because I don't like them. I do drink soda. That's my, that's my vice is soda. Uh, so, yeah. Let's get up to Tally's Hut. That's a good place to sign off. I haven't signed off from there in forever. So, let's get up here into Tally's nice, cozy, little, awesome outpost. And how's our temperature doing? Oh, I love, I love iron armor in this map. So yeah, guys, I think I'm going to go. Uh, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry this episode was, you know, kind of maybe blah. But, uh, oh, you know, I, I wanted to let you guys know. Because, I mean, since I just got, oh, there's one torch. Since I just got back from an extended, like, not uploading anything, I really didn't want to go for very long. I didn't want you guys to think, you know, something had happened again. 
Uh, so, you know, I wanted to get something for you guys. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I'm going to go. But everybody, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you thought of the episode, and I'll see you all real soon. Take care. Bye now.